Welcome to another edition of our AutoCAD MEP tutorial series. In today's video, we'll be concluding our series on fire alarm or fire protection system design. As explained, that we have three types of fire alarm control panel. We have the conventional the addressable and the digital addressable control panel but for this our project which is a residential apartment we design circuits for a conventional fire alarm control panel and i explained that a conventional system is a loop system while the addressable systems is a line system so to design the control panel schematics for this our project after we've distributed our smoke detectors its detectors the break glass or you call it the manual call point the fire alarm bell the next thing is to design our control panel but it's, the first thing is to specify the location for the control panel so let's go to our legend so here is the symbol for my alarm control panel. So I said fire alarm panel, flush mount type. So the control panel can be of two, can be installed in two ways. It can be a flush mount or a service mount. So we are using flush mount for this our project, complete with battery and charger, LCD display. So let's copy the CP. So let's specify the location. On a normal sense, the best location for fire alarm control panel is the ground floor. So let's place it somewhere around the staircase here. Yeah. RO. Let's increase the scale. Let's see by two so we're having our control panel here so let's name it cp so name it f f a c p that's our control panel so having specified the location the next thing is to design the schematics but to use our project i will copy the schematics i'm having here these are the schematics for a conventional system looks like let me copy this and for an addressable system these are the schematics looks like so fire alarm control panel or you call it the fire alarm system riser diagram for an addressable system this is a line but for the conventional as i said this is how the riser diagram looks like so we have one two so we can have it up to the specified numbers as you have been the engineer but this is a two zone or two loop here we are having loop in conventional system so this is my loop one this is my loop two so here is the panel here is the line diagrams so you observed i distributed my units here as we used to do in electrical design so break glass here and i loop my alarm bell to to that same line or to that same loop so let's copy this ctrl c and paste it in our project ctrl v the next thing is to go with the riser diagram so majorly after you've specified the numbers of loops for the project you can have four so you have one two three four here and this live and neutral is connected to our power source so you have so you can only edit these loops 
so for example now in this our project in our ground floor we have smooth detector one of one smooth detector one of two one of three one of four and each and each detector one of five so you come to our loop one here smooth detector one of one one of two, one of three one of four and each detector one of five that's our smoke detector each detector section you see come again for that same loop we also have break glass one of one also break glass one of two so you come over here again you create space for your break glasses and specify bg one of one bg one of two we are still in that same loop or zone you still come again for the del we have one of four, two here one of one here you specified it also and you close the loop here so the loop starts from here and it will be closed here so that's how it comes over to the b1 again we come to the other loop too which is the other zone which is our first floor right so you come over here two of one two of two two of three two of four two of five we have it here 2 of 6, 2 of 7. You come over here. SD 2 of 1, 2 of 2, 2 of 3. You specified numbers. Let's we forget the maximum numbers of detectors we can have is 12. And the num maximum numbers of all the devices in a loop is 6. Making the total number of 18 devices in the loop. So we have it here. 7 rather sd 2 of 6 2 of 7 yeah we have 2 of 7 you can't the numbers of our bell of our brick glass rather 2 of 1 here and 2 of 2 here that's it you specify the 2 and our bell 2 of 1 2 of 2 okay 2 of 1 over here at 2 of 2 over here and specify so this is how the panel for conventional system looks like it's just a loop the end of this are uh, zone 1 and zone 2 are later connected that's the reason we do call it a loop unlike a line for the addressable system so hope you find this video educational don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next class.